Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to another episode of the Better Minecraft series. I, uh, I have some new friends here. Take a look at what we got going on. Literally some rainbow sheep, and every time they... Do you hear that? Every time they bat, it's like sparkling sounds. It's crazy. I don't want to take these guys back home. We even got some fuzzy sheep over here. And you could probably tell from the last couple episodes, but I, I mean, I just love exploring in this game. Look at this little beetle. Look at these bridges over here that are just pre-made in the game. Obviously, this one is not done, and I could make it perfect. But look at this one over here. This one is completed, and it looks super nice. Like, this is good. Whoa, wait a second. Okay, that that is something. That's probably got mobs in it, but we'll check it out. I mean, look at all this. This is nuts. We got a bunch of stuff. I mean, it, I, I love that the world just generates with natural bridges, and that's kind of cool. Like, I, I kind of inspired to build a bridge similar to this, but maybe with some deep slate instead. I want to check this out. This looks like a, a pyramid with wood. That's wood, and that's dirt. It's a dirt wood pyramid. I'm bringing my sword out. Wow, this is awesome. This is just like a, a garden temple. This is pretty cool. Hold on a second. I should I need to take these down. I need to jump up and uh, I need to get up to the top over here. But first, is there something down here? <gasps> there is something down there. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. First off, nothing's up here on top of it. Oh, you can get down in through here too. That is crazy. I love what well, this is so cool. That means we should be able to get some treasure down there if this is anything like the actual temple from the game. Like, this could just be a mossy temple. And let's do something crazy. I'm gonna actually just light this up first so nothing insane spawns in here. I'd rather that not happen. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just dig a hole straight down here. And uh, we're gonna just, we're gonna take it from the side because I definitely saw a creeper down there and I don't wanna just drop in. I only have, wait, what am I picking up? Oh, more marble. You can always use more marble. I wanna build like a giant marble statue or something like that. I think it would be really cool. Oh my god, there are, and, okay, I see three creepers already, let's just keep doing this, and let's see what's here, let's just open this up, because we, we should just, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna keep opening this up, well, jeez, dude, I stopped recording for a second, and everything just exploded, I swear, oh god, please stay away, I'm out, I'm out of health, please stay away from me, oh god, okay, that was nuts, that was nuts, alright, is there a spawner? Is there a spawner? Can I can I stop them from spawning anywhere? Because this is insane. Oh, oh I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys the explosions. I, I, I just, dude, that was crazy. I just came down here and everything just exploded at once. And I stopped recording because I was going to dig down here from the side. And <laughs> they just didn't allow it. I don't understand, but the creepers just knew. They exploded when I was blocks and blocks away. Oh my god, tulips, emeralds. Oh, yay. Horse armor. This is exactly what we needed. So many saddles, a bunch, uh, I mean, I could use the bones, I guess, that's really nice. We have a bunch of flowers that I already kind of picked up, so that's a little sad. I almost came down here for a sweeping edge, too. I don't, I guess I don't need that either. The gunpowder I could use, because I don't have a creeper farm or a mob farm yet. I could, I mean, that, this was basically a creeper farm. This was just, that was insane. And these blocks are insane, too. Like, I'm using cobbled brown terracotta right now. Like, that. that is nuts. Birch trees are nice and pink, and the slimes are nice and pink also. Get out of here, my friend. That's, a, that's magenta. What was that little animal right here? What are you? Is that a badger? Oh, we have, like, a, dude, that's a dairy cow. Are you kidding me? See, now, this makes me want to bring, like, this definitely makes me want to bring all these different types of animals back. We have the rainbow sheep right back in that field as well as the fuzzy sheep and now we have dairy cows i've seen like we have the moo blooms as well like look at this guy okay there's other types of animals out here too i wonder if we can how, how many types of animals we can bring back what am i about to run up on now this is weird is something about to come up on oh actually i can use this to take him back with me let's go i got the i don't need bread i just need the wheat oh that's all i need um i gotta keep my guard up anything in here no yes what's in here what is this? This is like that. This is like a sunken treasure. This is nuts. Okay, I guess I, I didn't really need any of that. As something in here, there's probably a chest in here. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. This is like this. That's funny, dude. That's this is like in the middle of the land. It's like the ocean moved. But it's I thought it was gonna be a, like a, just a pink moob. It has its own name. And look at this, a rainbow rose. I am taking these. I am taking these. These are awesome. Yep, so I have a spotted pig here, and uh, I'm taking him home. This is awesome. There's way too many awesome animals in this mod, and they're all just packed together, all in these biomes here, and I, it's not, like, that far. I'm, like, I think I'm, like, maybe a 1,000, maybe 1,500 blocks away. 
Not too bad. I'm just going to get all these animals over to the over to the place real quick. Back at the cheeseburger build, and I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Okay, there's an Enderman in here. I don't want to look at him, but got storage set up. It's not obviously I don't have all of these filled up. I got some of them filled up. Basically just these and a little bit into here. But yeah, we can go down in. This is where we went uh, mining last time. I just have a little bit of a setup. But when we walk out, this took me about two, maybe two and a half hours. It, it took a while. So... We're here right now, and we got the, the new beams, obviously. I, it was pretty easy to breed a couple more and move them from right here. Same with the uh, spotted pigs. There was actually a couple spotted pigs a little bit closer. They're actually over here, so I found more. What is... What? Do you see this bee? I have, wh why? I'd never, I've never seen that in my life. So I moved some, spotted, moved some spotted pigs right here. This bee is crazy. That's nuts. Got some spotted pigs here. Is he about to climb out? Better get back in there, bud. And uh, so we have more over here, too. We obviously, we have the uh, fuzzy sheep. We have the muddy pigs that I found. The mulips, those are cool. And then the spotted pigs. We have more of them that I put over there. And uh, they have the regular guys back here. The regular cows, regular sheep, regular chicken. And we have some bronze chicken that we found on the way back as well. And uh, actually, an even cooler chicken. Or at least, in my opinion, I think is a cooler chicken. Fancy chicken right here, dude. These are sick. I like these fancy chickens. I also really like the rainbow sheep. That might be the favorite thing that I brought back. It is, it's nuts. We have cream cows that we brought back. And then we also have dairy cows that we found out there, too. So we have a bunch of animals. We'll probably find even more. There's a bunch of weird colored rabbits. Um, there's probably more. There's probably more. There's probably a lot more mobs out there. So um, I'm going to start building a barn. Like a big barn to fill all of these animals in. Like, not just a chicken coop, not just a pig pen, not just, like, a sheep barn, not just a cow barn. Something for- oh my god! Just have a gun. Hit me right in here. Yeah, just something for everything, you know? I think- I think that would be pretty cool. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. This is actually going to be the- the outline for the new barn. I decided- I, th I think I'm pretty gonna put- I'm gonna put the entrance on this side- yeah, I'm honestly gonna get this guy out of here. I'm gonna put the entrance on this side and that side. And I'm going to start a, uh, another part of the village over there. And, uh, oh god, I get too close to these guys and it's just way too much noise. But, uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to do another level because on this side over here is going to be the sheep. Probably the pigs over here or maybe the sheep up top and the cows in here. Depending on just whatever I'm feeling. But I'm going to move them upstairs. So, and then maybe some area for the chicken as well. I might have like a chicken coop in the back. Or the chickens can be chilling on, on these little areas. What's up, snail? How you doing? Decided it's probably time to use some marble. I kind of want to use some marble brick walls and uh, actually replace them over here instead of using this deep slate. I feel like this might be a pretty good idea. Since the sun was right up in the middle of the sky here, I thought it'd be a good idea to bring it up to the top. This is what I've been doing on the third side now here. Actually, I'm going to bring up two or actually four towers to the top here and then I think I'm going to bring a top section and I, I think it's going to... I mean, I hope it looks nice. I, I'm, I'm really hoping that. But if you go up here, it is, it's basically all the same. And if you zoom in, I used marble uh, tile brick walls and the fences and the gates. Actually, this is, this is actually starting to look pretty good. This is like the, the exact opposite of deep slate, this marble. I'm also going to continue the same build style that I have been using with the uh, spruce and the deep slate, except with the marble this time, obviously. I'm going to put a lantern on this side, and we'll keep on doing that. I might put a composter here with some with some of the new leaves, but I figured out we could keep trying some of the new stuff, like, I guess keep the similar design style that I've been using, but just keep on using the lanterns. Honestly, this is nice. I really like that. I'm, I'm going to keep doing that around the sides. Luckily enough, we picked up a bunch of gold in one of those abandoned villages and uh, just a bunch of random places. There's, there's honestly just treasure everywhere. We have unlimited iron and unlimited gold, basically, however long I want. Uh, let's go here. And we're going to make some gold chains today. That's what's going to happen because I didn't know you could make that. And it's awesome. We're utilizing everything we possibly can. Oh, yes, this is good. Oh, my God, this is awesome. And as you can see, we did end up using a lot of the gold. I'll go around here and I'll show you guys. We use the gold chains to connect a lot. Instead of the spruce, like right here, we have the gold chain. Unfortunately, the gold didn't go into the lantern, but it still looks all right from far away. I forgot to put some bushes right here. I'll have to fix that, but we got gold fences. I mean, gates or fences. Are they gates? I think they're gold gates, but they are blocking up everything. This is looking mighty fine. I'm going to walk in here. This is the first level. I haven't moved in anything yet. I'm going to take these out. And oh, I guess a butterfly moved in. That's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, we have some areas to go back here. We have one, two, three, and four areas over here. Walk in this way. You have one, and then we have another one over here as well. For, probably for the bigger animals. Maybe put the cows over there. 
We are walking upstairs now where we have a lot more decoration. Basically, it's all the same color palette. These marble tile bricks, it's, oh my god, it's, it's amazing. They're just like Deep Slate. I love it. It is my type of stuff. And you can walk out here. This is, this is just nice. Oh yeah, we put a little bit of an awning over here too with the, with the campfires. And we'll go back this way. There is two ways, or there are two ways to get back upstairs. And so, or to the very top floor, which I haven't finished yet. Uh, and have this right here. It looks kind of like an arena. We have these all, these little top four things uh, spaced out. I have mushroom stem that I found. And you can turn mushrooms into trap doors. It is actually kind of nuts. But yeah, I was thinking about making like some awnings up here as well. I'm not really sure. I think I might make the spruce go up. I might put a little bit more of this type of block over here. And uh, I don't know. I'll probably put maybe like a sheep or two up here. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'll have to figure that out. But I am going to start moving these guys in. Let's just go ahead and... Let's go ahead and walk off anyways. I don't have any food in my inventory for some reason. I think I ate all my golden carrots. But I do want to go back. Let's grab some hay. Actually, let's put this in a reasonable spot in here also. Let's grab some hay. And, uh, you know what? Then, uh, let's have a good time. Somehow this regular guy got in here. I'm really sorry, dude, but you gotta go. And, uh, we're gonna take these dairy cows out. We'll just do this first. Let's let you boys out, and you're gonna follow me. I got the wheat. Just go ahead and follow me right in here, dairy cows. You know exactly what you're gonna do, and we're gonna go... Actually, let's just do this. Uh, follow, keep following me, guys. Keep following. Don't, don't lose track. Don't lose track. Don't lose track. We got four of you. Perfect. Let's, let's not lose any of you. We're gonna start a brand new dairy cow population here. We'll just take specifically milk from these guys, too. We won't even use them for beef, because they are dairy cows. There's cream cows over there, too. We can wonder if they just, like, make butter or something. Come on, guys. Let's... You guys kidding me? Why are you guys, why are you guys doing this to me? Well, that took far too long. You guys get a treat, a tasty treat, as a thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get out of here. And, oh, we got a little baby dairy cow. That's, that's, that's perfect. Guys, I was thinking I might move the rest of these guys over on stream. I haven't streamed from this world yet, and I'm about to do it right now. And again, that's twitch.tv slash waxrod. If you want to join us on stream, I'm about to do that right now. Probably just get all these animals moved into place. Maybe do a little bit more construction on this place during the live stream as well. Uh, but yeah, feel free to stop by if you want. And we are back just from a live stream right now on twitch.tv slash waxfraud. I said it one more time just in case you didn't get it. Uh, but yeah, we're back here. And we did a little bit of work. We actually got all of the animals into place, as you can tell uh, from right here. But uh, we actually did not get to finishing the roof here, which is the last thing I need to do. But I decided the... Oops, that's oh, that's no good. There we go. We should close those. I decided I wanted, I wanted the rainbow sheep up here and I wanted the, uh, the moo lips up here. I, just, I, think, I thought those were cute. No, I wanted them up here. We decided to go with the cream cows on this side. We got the muddy pigs over here. What's up, muddy pigs? Then, if you jump over here, we got the spotted pigs. We also have the fuzzy sheep down there. And then down here, I decided, you know what? Let's just get some bronze chicken. We got the fancy chickens, regular sheep. We got the regular cows. We also have the dairy cows over here. And then last but not least, we got ourselves some moo blooms. What's going on? How you guys doing? We also did a little bit more decorating, so as you can tell, there's some barrels here. I think I'm going to put up some clay pots, um, maybe just with some flowers there. I got some smokers here in case I, you know, need some beef uh, to be cooking and stuff. Found our horse wandering over there on stream, so we tied him up. Uh, made, a little, made a lead out of all the slimes that we've been killing. I did think this pot looked good here. I'm going to actually uh, make that a consistent around each side. And we also cleared up these paths a little bit. Uh, we just, you know, just put a little bit of spruce wood down, and then we kind of just made it nice and clear way over here. But also, as you can tell, look at the grass. It's like brown. On stream, the grass straight up turned from like a greenish, like kind of grayish green color to just this grayish brown color. So I decided, you know what we'll do is we are going to put rainbow roses all over the place. And uh, they're really easy to spread. You just bone meal them and they just go everywhere. So I decided let's do that if the ground is decided to be gray. Also got some lapis right here. So we got a little wacky right there. But yeah, it's starting to be all right. I think the last thing we got to do is at the very top, just fix the roof. Finishing up the roof here for, I guess, what we can, and ouch. And uh, we're just going to finish this up. That's perfect. Okay, so as you can tell, we have rainbow roses on all of the clay pots here. I decided this is what I want the top of the roof to look like. I don't, I don't know. It, it just looks good to me, at least. Uh, and then every single clay pot that's here, you know what? I'm just going to like put this, let's just put that there. Actually, you know what? I can put a bunch of these leaves up here. That actually looked pretty good. A little bit more decoration, but we got clay pots uh, filled with rainbow roses all throughout this entire thing. Now, that's the last thing that I decided that I that I wanted to do. As you can tell, it's right there. We got a bunch of uh, gold chains that are hanging these up now, and oh man, this is 
This is awesome. Also, I just I kind of like put a little bit of decoration under here with the trap doors just to make it seem like it is uh, popping down a little bit and just connected. And I'm probably going to put like a chandelier here. I'm maybe. I'm not sure. There's a lot of lanterns on this build already. And that's usually the case. There's a lot of people that think I put I use too many lanterns. And it's that's fair. I probably use too many lanterns. But that actually is going to be it for this episode. I mean, take a look at this. This is a giant barn. This might be the biggest barn that I've made. I, made, I mean, Obviously, there was the mega barn that was on Legacy SMP. But I don't know if it's bigger than this or not. Because this, this is holding a lot of animals. The only thing that we didn't put in here is regular pigs and regular the chickens but yeah we have like 10 or 11 awesome random mobs that are coming from the better minecraft mod pack and so that's 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 pretty sick i think but yeah guys that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching episode three here seriously thank you so much i, I really do appreciate it come join us on stream sometime at twitch.tv slash waxfraw that's where i actually did a lot of the work for this farm online uh just live there on stream also, I might as well mention it's been a while. If you want to become a patron, uh, join the Patreon if you want to. It's just, that's how you become a VIP in the Twitch chat. And if you want to have your name displayed at the end of every YouTube video, that's how you get that done right there. But thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Join the Discord if you want to be in the community as well. And that's about it. Take care, everybody.